Dan received his first journal in sixth grade to document a school field trip. This marked his first exposure to a medium that later became his main creative outlet. By the end of high school, Dan began to work extensively on his own journals, often revisiting old pages and adding different layers to them. Never satisfied with the quality of his photographs, the young artist always looked for ways to enhance the pictures by manipulating them and adding other elements. He experimented with cutting up materials clipped from magazines and newspaper articles and pasting them alongside his own work to create extravagant collages. The pieces were often further decorated with paint or drawings and littered with quotes and written accounts of his adventures. Dan was largely self-taught in terms of his artistic process and vision. However, he was not without influences. Photojournalists Angela Fisher and Carol Beckwith inspired Dan with their work exposing Africa's vanishing cultures. The two gained access to never-before-seen aspects of tribal life through their constant presence with and mutual affection for the African people. Dan would employ similar techniques during his numerous trips across the continent. He also drew from other modes of expression such as art and literature. His classes at the International School of Kenya with teacher Liza McKay introduced him to modern art, and books like The Shock of the New encouraged him to push boundaries in his own work. Books like George Orwell's 1984 raised awareness to the political tensions in Africa and fostered a sense of kinship with the abused and underprivileged people. Dan compiled 17 journals over the course of his life, each bursting with images, insights, and humor. They have since inspired and encouraged many people to explore their own artistic potential. This prolific and unapologetic artwork showcases the power of letting one's unbridled creative energies run wild.